the weather is prettying up a lot and now that I'm out here oh there's all kind of things that I'm thinking I need to do or could do or would like to do today if it gets nice enough uh, and I think it's gonna one of the things I like to do is get this uh, Volkswagen pan out of the garage, take it out back, run around in the quarry with it, see how she goes, run it through the gear, spin the tire, do a few donuts, uh, do some work getting the garage cleaned up here. Now see that's that's a good start. I think what happened, what's going to need to happen, I need my hole to be deeper because my reamer needs to go in deeper in order to cut that out to the right size. So. I'm going to go back to the drill press and drill a little more. It's better to do a little at a time than to do too much. You get too much hole there, it could be a problem. There's a couple things going on when I do this. I'm actually weakening the neck by drilling a hole in it, but at the same time I've strengthened it because I've added that extra wood on the edge there, that uh, extra bit of oak makes it stronger. So. I'm sort of weakening it, but making it stronger at the same time, trying to get a good balance. So that that won't cause me a problem down the road now. Let's see if we got it deep enough there. I'm gonna get my little, let's see, did I keep my reamer in my pocket? I'm just do that right. There's my peg. I'll get my reamer back in my hands here. We'll just. Oh well, yeah, see I get a little a little traction there now. Let's see how close the peg is to fitting. Oh yeah, see we're getting there. Now I might give out a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Now I think that's just about perfect right there. Ah, dang, cracked it. See, that's what you don't want to do. I just pushed it in and cracked it a little bit. I'll poke a little extra glue on that. It'll still hold. I didn't think I'd crack it pushing it with just my hands, but sometimes you do. The world ain't perfect, you know. Dang.